Here are some tips that when I first learned about them made me wonder how I hadn't discovered them sooner. If you've been using After Effects for a while, you might already know a few of these, but I'm sure you'll be amazed by some cool tricks you didn't know before that will save you time and effort on your projects. Let's get started. Number 1. Keyframes Distance To see the distance between keyframes, all I have to do is hold Alt and select the first keyframe and then the second one. As you can see here, it shows the distance between keyframes. Mine is 17 frames. Number 2. Right placement of layers. When I copy and paste a couple of layers, their order may get messed up. To avoid this, I have to select the layer that I want to be the top one first and then the others. I cut and paste them. Number 3. Change fonts easily. I select the text layer. In the font section, by pressing the up and down arrow keys, I can check the fonts. If I want to add one of the fonts to my favorite, I just have to click this star icon, and then I can see my favorite fonts from here. Number 4. Auto Orient. This rocket moves along this line. To automatically orient it along the path, I can right click on it, and then in Transform, I click on the Auto Orient option, which its hotkey is Ctrl Alt O. Then in this window, I set it to Orient Align Path and hit OK. Number 5. Parent Layer to Null Object I've animated this layer so it would move from left to right, but now I want it to move in the lower part of the scene. If I change its position, it will ruin the animation. Because of this, I create a null object and parent the ball layer into the null object. Then I drag the null object and put it wherever I want. And then I delete it. It's done. Number 6. Convert text to mask. I right click on the text layer and in create, I click on create masks from text. Now, by pressing Ctrl Shift Y, I change its color. And now I can easily change the text however I want. Number 7. Copy Effects I've applied a couple of effects to this layer. If I want to apply the same effects with the same configuration on the other layer, all I have to do is select the effects. Under the Edit menu, I click on the Copy with Property Links option. Then I select the second layer and I hit Ctrl V. Now if I make changes to the first layer, the same will happen to the second one. Number 8. Fit layer to comp size. For this layer to be the same size as the composition, under the layer menu, transform, I click on the fit to comp option. Now if I want this layer to be the same height as the composition, I go to the layer menu, transform, and I click on the fit to comp height option. And if I want it to have the same width as the comp, again under the layer menu, transform, I click on the fit to comp width option. Number 9. Set work area length. First, I move the indicator where I want to start the work area and press B. Then I move the indicator where I want to end the work area and press N. Number 10. Top Rider Effect. I have a text layer that I want to give it a typewriting effect. For that, I head over to the effects and presets panel and look for the typewriter effect. After that, I drag it onto the layer. Now when I play, you can see the typewriter effect is happening. Number 11. Save frames. If I need a certain frame of my project as an image, I head over to the composition. Under save frame as, I click on file. I select the format, I set it to PNG, and then hit OK. Finally, I click on Render, and now I can see my exported image. Number 12. Save Render Settings We can easily save the render settings we desire so that we won't need to set the settings every time. For that, I set the format to MP4, and I set this to 32 bits, and then hit OK. Then I click on this arrow and choose Make Template, and then set a name for it.
Now, if I want to render another composition, I can easily again click on this arrow and select the MP4 template. Now, it exports the composition using those settings I made. Number 13, close tabs quickly. As you can see, I have a couple of compositions opened in the timeline. To close them, I have to press Ctrl W. It will close the active comp. Number 14, shape layer position. If I draw a shape that I'm not happy with its position, I can hold space and move it around. And afterwards, I can still keep drawing the shape. While doing this trick, I'm not letting go of the left click. Number 15, quick switching between comps. When I have too many compositions, by clicking on this icon, I can see my compositions and I can navigate between them. And when I click on whichever of them, it will take me to that composition. Number 16, sequence layers. I've animated the scale of each tree and I want them to appear in a specific sequence. In this frame, I cut them. Then I select them and head over to the animation menu, keyframe assistant, and finally click on sequence layer and hit OK. I extend the layers and play the animation. Number 17, select layer by label. I labeled the trees with green and the flowers with pink. If I want to select all the trees, I can right click on the square and then click on select label group. By doing so, all of the trees that have been labeled with green will be selected. Number 18, move paths. When I'm drawing a path and I'm not happy with the placement of a point, I hold down the left click and also hold the space bar and drag the point to adjust its position. After that, I proceed with my drawing. Number 19, collect files. To collect all the files that I've used in a project, I head over to the file menu, dependencies, and then I click on the collect files. Collect. Then I choose a path, pick a name, and click on the save button. By doing so, everything that I use in the project, including photos, sounds and videos will be collected in a folder number 20 resolution sometimes the full resolution can't be processed by your computer to change the resolution i hop over to this option down here and select the resolution that i want the hotkey of full resolution is ctrl j ctrl shift j will set your resolution down to half and Ctrl Alt Shift J will set it down to a quarter. And if you have an interest in After Effects and motion graphics and aspire to learn this skill basically and step by step, I recommend checking out my Motion Hero course.